Before we start the video, I would like to say if you have a BMW, get a trusted code reader like OBD Link CX. I'm going to have that link down in the video description below. But you could use the code reader with what I'm saying to kind of diagnose the issue. What up guys, Benji D here from Get Fix. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why your car's BMW check engine light is on. We're going to go over some of the most common issues that you could experience. Let's get started. Get fixed. Let's get it. Number one, an oxygen sensor failure. So the oxygen sensor is meant to monitor any unburnt oxygen in the exhaust and help manage fuel economy. If the oxygen sensor goes bad, you're going to get a check engine light. Number two, a looser damaged gas cap. A looser damaged gas cap is going to create an evap leak causing a check engine light. Number three, a catalytic converter issue. Now the purpose of the catalytic converter is to burn gases into a much more cleaner gas for the environment. If it starts to fail, you're going to receive a check engine light. Number four, a mass airflow sensor problem. So the mass airflow sensor's purpose is to regulate the amount of air coming into the engine so it could determine the right amount of fuel that's meant for combustion. Now once that sensor goes bad, you're going to get a whole bunch of error messages leading to that specific sensor. And last but not least, number five, spark plugs or spark plug coils. Once those starts to go bad, you're going to start getting misfires leading to check engine light. Those are the most common issues you could take a look at if you have a check engine light. But I do recommend you scan your car with a code reader, figure out what the code means, and then start diagnosing and determine what's going on based off that. Those are the possible reasons why you have a BMW check engine light. That pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Ben GD here from Get Fixed. And I'm out. Peace. Let's get it.